welcome to my channel if you're new my name is Nicole if you're old welcome back and yes this will be posted during the 31 days of Halloween I can't help that it's just how it's going to be because I got this I will have other videos other than just 31 days of Halloween but the 31 days will be 31 Halloween looks and then I'll have extra videos because I saw my boxy my ipsy um my couple little hauls so I'm getting something for Sephora and so there will be a couple other things other than just straight Halloween looks each week just to let you know but anyway today I'm really 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 excited I got it says from Hush it's from Bad Habit um and they have their own little box badhabit badhabitbd.com Luna 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 palette whatever it is that's the Norvina dude because you know I can't use the Norvina palette because it's full of carmine so I ordered this and of course it's $16 they did not have they do not have it available on Hush as of today today Saturday um uh, and usually all about habits products until now now there's you can buy there on their site too but unless you spend thirty dollars you're not going to get free shipping so i did pay for 95 shipping on top of that it was really well packaged um and it says the makeup you crave bad habit and um a lot of people have been like complaining about them making dupes and like or saying oh you're stealing blah 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 i'm like I'm glad they still, Norvina says she doesn't really mind because as long as they're not the ones copying, she doesn't care. But, and I, I don't, she didn't reply to me, but I'm like, I'm glad you don't mind because I can't use a lot of your products because of the carmine. So, um, it's very, very soft. Even this box, this is the outer box, is very soft. This is like embossed, like all of this, you can feel it and it's like really soft. The coating on it is really soft. And, um does have pita cruelty free and I took a gamble because the you know the ingredients were not up on this yet but since all of their other products don't contain carmine I took a gamble that this one wouldn't either and I was right so that's what's good about them and you know they have a fantastic formula the mattes are a little bit powdery but they are pigmented so you know just knock off your brush or whatever and so we are gonna and again gorgeous packaging Almost manu amy way, but this is like more realistic. It looks like it could be like an actual picture of the eclipse, you know what I'm talking about? And it does have a mirror. And so there's that. And then that's what this palette looks like. It is gorgeous. I'm glad. I would have wanted the Norvina palette for the purples and the pink. And so we're just going to go in and do a look. I don't have any other makeup because, you know, 31 days of Halloween. I'm not going to step to work be wearing makeup like if I have videos you're just gonna have to deal with any pores my zombie eyes redness you just gonna have to deal with it use NARS is much proof eyeshadow base that I got in my like one of my last Sephora plays I, I canceled because I just kept Sephora play mainly to like help me achieve VIB status but I spent so much the last one <laughs> that like I achieved it and beyond and then I've ordered again so because they have a palette that's coming my way Some of that on. I know this works pretty well. Um, I didn't have any crease issues. I wore it one time uh, last Sunday. Um, I didn't have any crease issues, but these colors are gorgeous, and I will swatch after I'm done. So stay tuned for that. I am gonna take I'm gonna take this one. I'm gonna take the Morphe M441, and I'm going to go into color on. I'm going to go into Crescent, which is this. I'm, I'm not going to set. I don't really set much anymore. I'm just going to see how that shows up, if it shows up at all. I'll take this plastic covering off. Huh? Um, see, it is a little bit powdery, like when you just barely tap, which is normal. I mean, you just go like that if you're worried about... I'm not worried about with this, this shade, but I have noticed even like crease shades. I'm going to try to go in as many shades as I can. Um, there likes to be one, two, three, four, five solid mattes, but Penumbra has like a sh glitter in it, like a shimmer. Um, but you could probably work that in crease, and the same with Super Moon. Like, it's like almost a glittery thing. So I'm pretty sure you can work those in the crease. They wouldn't be kind of a slick metallic. Um, I'm going to go into Ephelion with the same brush. I don't know how it's going to work because this is like a wider bristle brush than I normally but. 
It almost blends in with my eyeshadow color because I'm a zombie, right? Not my eyeshadow, my eyelid color because I'm a zombie. That smudge proof base is not like neutralizing coloring. Just so you know. This is like my zombie eye color for crease, so I have to really differentiate when we get over there. So ever so far. Yeah, I gotta get my zombie eye all up close. See that? Yeah, that's what I have to cover every day. <laughs> Go into I'm gonna take the purple and get there because like I haven't done like a weirdo cut crease in a while. I'm gonna take this paintbrush by Sigma. <laughs> it's the E48. It's called a pointed crease, but yeah, it's big. Um, I'm going to go into Supermoon, which does have, like, a glitter in it, but it's, like, one of those fine glitters that's, like, not, like, heavy glitter, you know what I'm talking about? So, what it's probably going to do is just, like, kind of brush into my skin and go away. Mm. There's the pigment. Okay. I'm a little worried over there. I was liberal with that and it's blending away. Let me try a different brush. I'm going to go into Sigma's um, Tapered Blending E35. See, there's a lot of kick up in that pan. And See, I wasn't even blending it out. I was just kind of... And that brush works fine. Like I can use my blood sugar and do that really quickly. And then still blend it out. So, okay, I'm getting like so much fallout. Okay, see what happens is it's kind of blending away on its own. Hmm. That's like mostly a matte shade, which is like a glitter in it. See? I get purples are hard, but dang. I've never had that much problem getting an eyeshadow to show up from Bad Habit. Which is like way less pigmented than it looks in the pan. Maybe over that brown, but dang. Like, I can't even blend it because it kind of, when you put it on, it's blending away. color off Luxie 239 it's just stained I've wiped it all off uh, 239 precision shader I'm gonna go into the shade hmm. Meridian because I want to try that bloody pink okay <laughs> right, right, I'm gonna try this get loaded And spray my brush. This glitter's kind of loose too. I might do that with the glitter glue and get better results, but not the most high pigmented thing. I'm just gonna go into Half Moon, which is this purple. I'm Up, 
aid waning into my inner corner. Colors. I'm going to take this color, this matte over here called Dark Side, which is a very pretty, like, rusty maroon kind of color. It's darker than a rust would be. Is there already a hair on you? I don't even know. That's a pretty shade. Um, and this is the Royal Ling Nickel Omni uh, Balm 18 Detail. It came in that boxy. Why did it come in boxy? Okay. And then the last one I want to try, I'm going to use the same brush. Is I want to try Eclipse. Since I get more pigment off my brush. I'm just going to go under that. I think in the Norvina, the shimmers needed to be applied more with the finger. And that might be where I went wrong with that purple. I don't... I don't know. Considering I tried two different brushes. Two very different type of brushes. Both from Sigma, but you know. Different. Okay, I'm going to throw some mascara on just for kicks. Crescent, waiting, Apollune, Penumbra, I'm going to dive in that color, that one seems pretty, and High Tide, that one was a little bit messy, but let's go, so Crescent, wait, waxing, Apollune, Penumbra, High Tide, okay then we got Waning, Phelion, Eclipse, dark pretty purple plum, or plum, not purple plum. This one is Meridian, and then we've got a cool tone brown called Mare. So, Waning, Aphelion, or is it Aphelion? I don't know. Eclipse, Meridian, and Mare. Next, we've got. Half Moon, Basalt, Super Moon, which is that purple I had trouble with on my crease. Might be good just as a lid shade, I don't know. And Dark Side, like with a packing brush and doesn't do well with a blending brush, I don't know. So, uh, Half Moon, yeah, you see glitter. Um, basalt, super moon, uh, and dark side. So this will be a little patchy on my arm. So there's the shades. They are very pretty. I think this one is going to be one of those palettes that you're going to have to learn how to work with. I'm going to have to learn how to work with. And certain shades that like, you know, a tiny bit, of, like those should be fine in the crease. Don't want to stay in your so they want to blend away like that one really wanted to blend away and even be a little patchy and show the brown underneath um the pink's not impactful like i thought it might be maybe with applied with the finger it would be i've seen people with the norvina palette apply that with their finger and it shows it fine so it might be kind of similar uh so i'll have to like play around with it it's cute though it's pretty and i made a look which i like <laughs> ignore my zombie eyes but um i think it's pretty enough 
uh, worth $20 now with the shipping. And 16 no, I think they would have done better pricing this one at like 12 which is with the Retro Love, the Royals palettes priced at 10 uh, and they made it more worth it. So anyway, thank you for watching, like, and subscribe. Toodles!